like you had a corner match up on you and just kind of shook him at the post and you just kind of walked us through that route? Or? Yeah, um, just another great play call by Dorse. Um, great job up front giving Josh time to read it out. Um, it was an outbreaking route, so we had Gabe, I think it was Gabe, like on a corner to kind of take all the attention away. Um, and it left me one on one. Yeah, I'm not sure if he was a corner or safety, but I knew it was man to man coverage, um, release inside to try to make him think I had an inside breaking route. Um, gave him a little something at the top and broke out, and Josh put on the money. Conversions today. You guys wouldn't be perfect if you didn't kick that last one at the end. Um, Josh mentioned you guys put some new stuff in. How'd you guys take to that new stuff and kind of make it look good? Yeah, um, it just comes down to execution across the board. Um, huge shout out to the O line up front um, with an injury, you know, guys stepping in. Um, that's kind of been the case all year with injuries. Guys have been put in different positions. I can't even imagine how hard that is from uh, a lineman standpoint to be used to one position than having to change. So um, they battled their tails off um, and did their job. But uh, it, just, it just comes down to execution. Um, great play calling by Doris. And um, I had a lot of opportunities this week to practice those new plays. So when it got called in the game, we were ready for it. How much confidence does it give you to know that you were going to be, you know, the top, the primary in this game. You know, I mean, you had that one-on-one -on -one matchup. You were isolated for majority of the whole game, and Josh just kept connecting with you. So, how much confidence did it give you? Yeah, um, I mean, going into the game, we never really know how many targets we're going to get. Um, there's game weeks where I think I might have six or seven targets and never get the ball, um, and then there's games that <clears throat> I'm not really expecting a whole lot um, and have a big game. So it's just it comes down to doing your 111th, whatever the play call is. Um, thankfully, we were able to exploit some of that man-to-man -man coverage. Um, when you got Diggs and um, Gabe running around down the field, they're drawing attention from everyone. So it leaves me one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, when you got great receivers around you, it kind of it can put you on an island. So it gives me a little bit um, of extra wiggle room when, it, when I get those one-on-one -on -one matchups. Nelson, we've seen a lot of versions of Josh Allen doing his thing tonight with the run, two-point conversion, the snow falling, the whole thing. Where's this one ranked for you? I don't even know. That's, that's, a, that's a hard question. I mean, um, he makes plays that I've never seen before. Sometimes you kind of turn into a fan while you're watching them. Um, Unfortunately, I was under a 300-pound three technique on that play that he reached the ball over on the two-point. So I didn't see it until we saw the Jumbotron. But um, I've, I've kind of talked about it before. It's not even surprising at this point. Um, you're just like, oh, there's Josh being Josh again. Um, he's the best quarterback in the league, the best football player in the league. So um, anytime you got him on your team, you, you got a chance to win. Did you say anything to him about the risk he took at the end of the half there? Uh stretching the play out when you had a field goal. <laughs> That's one of those where it's like, when he's making plays like that, no one says anything. <laughs> you know, just tap him on the butt. Good job, Josh. Good job being yourself. Um, yeah, there's nothing to really be said when he's making plays like that. How about the long one you caught early? That was against zone, right? You kind of put it uh, like up and out this way. The first one? Yeah. Yeah, it was his own. Um, it was his own coverage. So. Again, we had one of our star receivers going deep, taking the top off, and that left a nice little zone. It was wide open right there in the middle. Um, again, Josh put it on the money, gave me some space to so run so with it a little bit. Had, oh, sorry. Okay. Um, you guys have had some stretches where you had a lull on offense. What are you guys doing on the sideline kind of home back in, knowing you got to put it together before the game's out? Like, I'm just curious what the – Cross talks like when you know you're, you hit that low and you got to pull yourself down. Yeah, um, that's just the nature of the sport. Um, there's never going to be a perfect game. You're going to have ups and downs in every game. There's there's going to be those lulls. So um, the best teams find ways to push through that, um, and they find ways to win, whether it's by one or a hundred. So um, I think that's just across the board execution. Um, just taking each play with a you know next play mentality. You can't have a you, you got to have a short-term memory in this game. You can't be thinking about what you did wrong the play before. I had a drop over the middle that I was pissed off about, but it's just one of those things you got to wipe off and play the next one. So um, if you let one play beat you twice, um, that's when you really start going downhill. Austin, you talked throughout the season, especially at tight end, that balance of doing whatever the team needs, but being competitive and wanting to make those big plays. So what did tonight feel like just to be back in the next 90s or like touchdowns, Frank, you know, 
how the game works, not just being as excited about the football yeah. capacity. Yeah. Um, anytime I can be directly involved in the offense like this, it's very exciting. It's very fun. Um, I've always had the mindset that the best tight ends in the league are to be happy blocking and happy catching. So whether it's blocking 100 plays out there to get the team to win or catching 10 balls, going for 100 yards with touchdowns, um, just comes down to doing whatever's necessary to win. And a uh, big shout out to Q Morris on that big touchdown. Um, we're super excited for him to get in the end zone as well. So um, I think it's just whatever the play call is, whatever the game plan is for the week, we got to go execute it. Thanks. Thanks.